We're here in Los Angeles with Halleck Gracie ahead of his fight on Saturday night with Hisaki Kato at Bellator 170 at the Forum. Halleck, it's been a little bit since uh, you've competed in MMA. Now that you're here, you know, it's, it's the week of. How are you feeling? feel great. feel in the best shape of my life and excited to, you know, to get back to what I've been wanting to do for the last seven years. So it's, it's exciting. What brought you back to the MMA game? Obviously, we know you've been busy with Metamoris, things like that. Why, why are you back and why are you in Bellator right now? Well, it just kind of came together. Um, I've been training for the last year and a half more seriously. I was going to compete last uh, year, actually, in Japan. So I've been was preparing for a fight and then it didn't kind of didn't come together. So just kind of kept it going and felt like an itch, you know, to really get back and compete. But I, had, I never really wanted to stop. There was things that got in the way, life stuff, and, you know, ended up being something where it just didn't really work out for me to invest time in competing and being in a in the in the fight game is a kind of a selfish thing you know it's you're really it's you're on this you know this whole path of just being this warrior and pushing and building yourself up so it's been cool and I've you know have the, res the the support of my family and it's just been the right time I guess you know and come together and Bellator reached out at the right time and I felt you know it was a great organization and good people and made it happen. Is this a, a one-off thing or is this kind of a new a new path for you? Well, we we have a multiple fight deal, so we're you know one one fight at a time, but we're we're going for it. And for me, it's just um, you know finish out the contract and go from there, see how it feels. Kato is a guy who's known for his striking. Uh, I'm not sure how much you've, you've seen of him, but he's knocked out guys like Joe Schilling. What what do you make of him? How, how do you prepare for a guy like that? Man, we've been preparing for guys like that for generations, man. That's uh, this is it. You know, it's the. I mean, they're calling it the classic jujitsu versus, you know, striking battle. Uh, you know, I think you prepare by refining your techniques and getting outside of your comfort zone and doing everything that, you know, you do to build up your strategy and, and go in and do your best, you know. You're here this week uh, with Brian Ortega, obviously a very good UFC featherweight. Um, you've been working with, uh, with him uh, this camp. What's that been like? Has he, has he been very helpful? Oh, extremely helpful. Um, it's cool. I mean, Brian grew up in the academy with us as a little scrub, you know, like he was just a little kid who was five years old running around. And he really just came up, you know, and I, I remember training with him before my first MMA fight. And he was young and he, he must have been, you know, 13, 14. And he, he was watching me spar and he was, you know, we, and I was doing some stand up sparring and we had our headgear on, we had our gloves on and stuff. And he's watching the whole time and I'm like, hey man, do you want to do, you want to try this? You want to do a round? And he comes in and he starts throwing kicks at my head and starts touching me and I'm like, holy shit, like I'm not, you know, like I'm getting ready to fight and here's this little kid and I'm like, and I've, so he's been a natural and he's somebody that, you know, has been around the game and, but definitely has a lot of tools and it's been great just getting back with him and seeing him come full circle and, you know, really grow up and become a man and, now just you know we're a team so it's it's been cool it's been a you know a really good process really organic and he's a, he's extremely helpful because his hand speed is really the, you know really fast and something that i think you benefit from you know training with a little bit lighter guys who are really fast it gets your boxing up quick you know and that's that's what i was going for so yeah. you are, you obviously uh, carry the gracie name to every fight i know that's a badge of honor for you whether it be you know fighting or grappling, but is there some pressure with that too? Because obviously everyone knows that name. No, no pressure at all. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think you get used to it. You know, I think the pressure is something that you you get in small dosages your entire life, and this is a little bit of kind of a big dose. You know, a big whopping dose of of the experience and of the expectations and all this stuff. I mean, at the end of the day the Gracie family legacy is unbeatable at this point, you know, as far as its history and as far as the culture and everything that it represents. And for me, I'm really just trying to test myself and I think just display the art, you know, and if I don't, and, and that's another reason why when I, when I fought in 2010 and I didn't um, return, part of it, there was a mental part of it where 
I was a little depressed because I felt like, what am I even fighting for? You know, like this has already been proven. We're already, you know, the Gracies is already this huge thing that's not really, what am I going to do other than go in and give somebody the opportunity to maybe beat me and take something from our name? So I kind of had this, and, and then not only that, like feeling like when I won, people give you a lot of respect when you win. People you don't even know start paying attention to you it feels weird, you know, and it's a new thing. So to me, it felt like, wow, like, you know, there's all these, there's all this stuff happening, but more of my return and more of the way that I've been feeling more recently is just, it's more of a matter of giving people at this point, especially the opportunity to see what, what that can look like, you know, and what a real refined jujitsu game, a fight jujitsu game, not a sport jujitsu game can really look like in modern MMA. And I think, modern new modern mma fans don't really even know what that looks like and i think that's kind of a responsibility you know it's it's kind of like a, there's a there's an old boot company red wing that makes you know they're a hundred year old company that makes these boots and they're really it's this really refined leather and they you know and the whole thing is handmade and it's all this you get this feeling of quality and experience well imagine if you know they decided not to make shoes anymore you know how would you you know and would that be a service to to the people who care about those shoes and get that that experience and get to feel something from that. So yeah, I think martial arts fans and martial arts community, you know, martial artists, people who care about the art, I think can can see something, you know, and I think if there's something there that's inspiring, hey man, you know, we're we're continuing to make shoes, we're continuing to push the legacy. It's uh, it's exciting, you know. Speaking of uh, your family, there are some there are some new rules that are just going to affect now this month in MMA. One of them is the removal of the foul uh, for heel uh, heel strikes to the kidneys while you know a person is in guard. You can almost say that's the Hoist Gracie rule because he used that so effectively early in the early UFCs. Could there be some cases where we may see Holly Gracie use that heel strike to the kidney on Saturday night? It's, it's legal right now. It's not legal. I didn't know about that. Mm -hmm. Holy moly! <laughs> We're gonna have to get with the team on that one. Uh, Wow, that's interesting. I didn't know they ever. I, I didn't even think they ever took that out. I didn't even. Wow. See, and yeah, who knows? We have to throw a couple of those in there for for old times' sake. Yeah, cool. Because Hoist will be there, and he'll be in attendance right on Saturday night. Oh yeah, Hoist will be there, man. It's exciting. Thanks, Alec. Appreciate it.